Hello boys and girls, I am in my office at work and what I'm doing, well, hell, I'll show you what I'm doing. So, I'm in, in an office, uh, a lot of times a DIT or a DMT is actually on set. So when the cards come out of the camera, they come out of the camera and they're handed to you like this. Once they're handed to you, you put them into the computer and you back them up to drives. <clears throat> I get them in these little plastic cases. Um, now, most DMTs or DITs will use the same software. Um, for this show, we're using uh, CFast 2.0. Uh, we're using Lexars. This is the CFast reader. So I'll just pop that in there. AO33. This is the software that most of us use. It's called Shotput Pro. So I'll open Shotput. And in Shotput, I'll just take the card and drop it right there. That's 232 gigs. And it's already set up to go to where I want it to go. So I'll just push go or play. It'll calculate. It's going to take about an hour. Uh, it jumps up and then it'll come back down. Uh, it's going to take about an hour. So in an hour, I'll get a notification that it's finished. This bar here will turn green. Once your cards are finished offloading, the next thing that's kind of important is formatting your cards. Now, if, what I do is I format them to Mac OS, extended, journaled, uh, so that when they place these back in the camera, they're prompted to reformat, and then they know that A31 or A32 has already been offloaded. But they're not going to know that this is a, the card from A31 and this is the card for A32, because what I do is I take one of these dry erase markers, doesn't have to be this brand, um, but I take one of these, and I scribble over the number. Now, I do that probably, I don't know, seven, eight times a day on each card sometimes. So I just take a little paper towel and I wipe it off. Look at that, clean cards. So I'll put it back in the box. That one's ready to go back. This one's ready to go back. This waterproof, weatherproof uh, pelican case. Throw them in there. Close it up. And uh, we're ready to go back to set. You can actually see behind the scenes photos of the film that we're shooting right now on Instagram. And the name is at Hammer the Movie. Um, yeah. So if you want to see some behind the scenes stuff, some of the stuff that I'm pulling off, but someone's taking photos of, check it out, head over there. If you guys want to see more of this kind of content, uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload a video. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what you thought about me showing you guys what I do at work.